Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Eric with MorningTechMedia.com. As always on Tuesday, we talk about in-home behavior. And today I'm going to talk about something that can be a touchy subject for some people, right? And that is using the client's bathroom while you're on the job site. So I'm going to just take a moment to show you how I feel about this. Their bathroom's off limits. My guys knew that my big like tripping point with them was never asked to use a client's bathroom because we knew by talking to clients talking to friends they don't like it they will let you use it for sure most people are not going to say no you can't use my bathroom but they do not like the service provider to come to their home and then use a bathroom we took this so far at my service company that we had a system for going to the bathroom in the vans. I know that sounds crazy, but I didn't want this happening. So we had a five gallon bucket, we had a toilet seat, and then we had toilet paper and hand sanitizer. So the guys would put a trash bag on the bucket, put the seat on top, do what they had to do, then use the toilet paper, of course, wrap that up, tape it, double bag it, tape it off again, and go back out to the job site. Most guys learn to not have to go to the bathroom on site because they didn't want to be going in the van. So the thing is, is that you've got you to plan your day so that you can go to the restroom at a store somewhere between jobs. And I know there's emergencies. We've all had them. Don't go use that bathroom. I can tell you this especially Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones will not like you using their bathroom. Doesn't make them a bad person, doesn't mean they're mean, doesn't mean they're insensitive, but this is their house. She doesn't want to be cleaning up after you. She doesn't want you using her toilet. That's just how it is. You know, am I saying it should be that way? I don't know. What I am saying is, is that it is that way that it is that way. I know my wife, her pet peeve is when a service provider comes to our home and asks to use the bathroom. She about loses her mind. She always says yes, but that is a huge checkoff in the negative moment of truth category for her. And I can guarantee you that company will most likely never be coming to my house again. So it's just like a silent killer, you know? It's, we do it, we ask to go to the bathroom, they say yes, they don't like it, they don't say anything, and then that customer disappears. So guys, look, I know that sometimes nature calls, but you've gotta have a way, you've gotta have a system in your van to be able to do your business elsewhere. Look, I've done the van thing a zillion times out in the field. Yeah, is it fun? No. Is it comfortable? No. But you know what? I cared about how my customers thought about me. All our guys cared about how their, our customers thought about us. So again, this is not, not a super long lesson, but I can tell you, they don't like you using the bathroom. And that even goes for when they're not, when you're, they're not home, right? My guys are trained. I don't care if they're home or not. You aren't going to their bathroom. Okay. There's all kinds of cameras. I mean, generally, there's never cameras in a bathroom, but the house may have cameras seeing you go into the bathroom. Okay, Another negative moment of truth for that client. Okay. So no matter how neat and tidy you are, no matter how conscientious you are, please, guys, please don't ask to use the client's bathroom. It just isn't a good look for a top-tier service company. All right, you guys have an awesome day in the field. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Eric at morningtechmedia.com. Thanks a lot.